Israel critics who use the false apartheid claim cite black Africans who hold or held similar views. They often say things like, Bishop Desmond Tutu said that Israel's treatment of the Palestinians was apartheid. It is true that the late Bishop Tutu said these things. It is also true that South Africa's ruling party, the African National Congress, or ANC, has adopted an antagonistic stance towards the Jewish state. But South Africans, even black South Africans, are not a monolith. Many have called out and do call out the lie that Israel is an apartheid state. From faith leaders to politicians, business personnel to community leaders, many see the importance of a strong South Africa-Israel relationship for the benefit of all South Africans. Former South African president and African statesman Nelson Mandela said, I cannot conceive of Israel withdrawing if Arab states do not recognize Israel with insecure borders. On his visit to Israel in 1999, Mandela also said, to the many people who have questioned why I came, I say, Israel worked very closely with the apartheid regime. I say, I've made peace with many men who slaughtered our people like animals. Israel cooperated with the apartheid regime, but it did not participate in any atrocities. It is important to note that Israel was but one of many countries, including Arab countries, that had some level of cooperation with the apartheid regime. During a time of devastating drought in South Africa, late Zulu King Goodwill Zuelatini implored the ANC to not cut ties with Israel, but to focus on the fact that Israel had the means to help the country overcome the results of the drought and so positively contribute to the country's economy. Now retired Chief Justice of South Africa's Constitutional Court, Chief Justice Mukhoeng Mukhoeng, caused quite a stir among Israel critics when he refused to condemn Israel as an apartheid state. Rather, the Chief Justice stated, I love the Jews, I love Israel, I love Palestine, I love the Palestinians, I love everybody. When asked about the Israel apartheid claim, South African Parliament member, Reverend Dr. Kenneth Mishra said, the misapplication of the term apartheid makes a mockery of a grievous injustice and threatens to undermine the true meaning of the term. If South Africans, black people like me, enjoyed the rights that Israeli Arabs have, there would have never been an armed struggle in South Africa. Retired Major General Bantu Holomisa, a key figure in South Africa's liberation struggle and deputy minister in South Africa's first democratic cabinet, has on several occasions declared that Israel is not an apartheid state. Bishop Dr. Barnabas Lechanyane, leader of the Zion Christian Church, or ZCC, the largest African-initiated church in Southern Africa, visited Israel in 2017. On this trip, a spokesman for the ZCC said, we are very happy as the ZCC to come to Israel to spread the message of peace of the church. We have been very impressed with the country and would like to see further engagement. The church is above politics and wishes to improve the lives of its members. South Africa is among 44 of the 54 African countries that have formal relations or alliances with Israel, despite differing opinions by individuals and political parties within their borders. So, when someone tells you that South Africans condemn Israel as an apartheid regime, remind them that there are many South African voices and that many of those voices, past and present, have been raised and are raised in support of the Jewish state.